my job is first I'm the advisor for the history club so we call it the truth seekers so I'm the main advisor for that uh, we set up events movies documentaries lectures so that's one of the big jobs I cover most of the US history aspect US history one and two uh, my specialties are 20th century, 21st century history. So I've done crime and policing, history of terrorism. I'm doing human rights uh, for the classes that we're allowed to develop on our own. Well, I've been here three years and, we, and I've been blessed since the time I've been here that we have very enthusiastic faculty in the history department and we work well together. Uh, that can be a problem, it's a tight knit group, but if you don't have that cohesiveness, um, that can be a problem. Other places I worked at, we were really disconnected. We didn't get to know each other personally or even professionally. It was, you just kind of did your thing and you didn't really know what anyone else was doing where we worked together uh, at our events. So it's an enthusiastic group. I'll be teaching, but in the Caribbean, which is predominantly black, you don't think this is a historically black college. You just think this is college. It's only when I came here and the United States, you know, is predominantly white. Then it becomes uh, something other than just, I'm just teaching. <laughs> I get to decide where. I teach and who I teach and it's more meaningful to me to teach people who look like me and who have similar challenges like me as opposed to preach and teach to some privileged people who don't really get it. So teaching at a historically black school makes more sense to me because they understand me and I can relate better, especially since I'm from another country. I can actually relate better to historically black institutions than I ever could a historically white school. I think I'll always be teaching. I wouldn't necessarily be in the same place all the time. Uh, I even, I've even considered maybe starting a school myself. I'm also a writer. I'll be publishing material that other people can read who I can't otherwise reach. So in that way, I'll always be a teacher. I'm a teacher. I, I've already accepted that. That's who I am. And that's who I'll, I think I'll always be. Two Seekers is our history club. And when I first came to Lane, I realized we only had a few history majors. And uh, once students realized how valuable history is, they're fine. But there are a lot of students who just did not even want to hear the word history. History for African Americans, black people in general, not just African Americans, very painful. Who wants to sit and learn about slavery? So a lot of times students stay away from history. But they don't realize that in order to become empowered, you have to get beyond the damage that history first inflicted on you. So we were thinking, we need a space, we need a room, we need a, a reason to expose people other than history majors to history. And so the solution to that was the Truth Seekers History Club. And we envisioned that if people want to really know the truth, then they would come. So the word Truth Seekers is like a teaser. Is the question in between the lines is, do you really know the truth?